given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business Morning everybody, Bryce back again this week with another weekly card talk that we've been having. Now we're up to day 84, so now we're getting close to three months. I can't believe how fast time has gone. We've just been having so much fun. So um, I guess we'll just get right into it this week. So um, over the past week, I've been looking at Tobin Heath again mostly. Um, a lot of her cards still haven't really gone down in price. So what I did was is I went online to eBay again. I looked up her uh, Panini autographed cards because... Those are her most uh, sought-after cards from the looks of it, and none of them have really gone down in price, honestly. The same cards that I was searching for when I actually first started doing these videos was about, the sell price was about $15. They're still about $15, so I'm waiting for them to kind of dip down a little bit more before I start buying them. And I'm also going to look into seeing if there's any graded ones out there next, because if not, that might produce an opportunity for us to maybe send those in for grading. And then maybe get lucky and see if those can grade highly. And then we can have one of the very few uh, Tobin Heath graded rookie cards. I might, or not rookie cards, autograph cards. So that's something I'm going to consider doing. Actually, if I find enough of them, I'm going to send at least two or three of them in. We'll have some fun and see how it goes. So speaking of sending things off for grading, still haven't heard anything on Giannis yet. He's still on step four, so he's being graded as we speak. So I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. Um... I was I was doing more research again this week, and there's a couple of interesting things I found. One, I found another um, collector on YouTube who's got some really great tips and tricks, especially for those of us who are on a smaller budget, like myself. Um, like I said, I was only on a budget of like 200 bucks, and right now I've spent about about 50, so about 150 more dollars left to go, guys. So if you have any thoughts on what I should be uh, investing in, drop them down in the comments below. I'm curious, but. Um, so the Gavin Lux and Kevin Durant's came out of that $50, let me show you guys. So yeah, they came in a few days ago, and the gang is all here. So, where are they? Aha. There they are guys, they're all here. Yeah, so, all topped update series, one Gavin Lux rookies, and then one, um, tops Kevin Durant rookie. This from the second set, not the first. The first set is a lot more sought after. If you guys, um, for context, if you guys aren't don't know what I'm talking about in terms of the rookie card sets, check out my video from last week, which will be day 77 of this talk. But anyways, I digress. So what I actually started to do was, um, PSA Collector, his, he's got a YouTube channel, that's the card collector I'm talking about. He actually talked about investing in um, PSA 9s rather than PSA 10s for those who are more on a budget. And I guess in the past, I've always kind of dismissed PSA 10s because um, all these high-end collectors like Gary Vaynerchuk and Sports Card Investor, they say, oh, you don't invest anything any lower than a PSA 10. And I'm like, well, okay. I mean, it, the, the problem with that is, you know, if you've got 200 bucks, the amount of players you can buy a PSA 10, and mind you, one card for a PSA 10 is extremely limited unless you're buying a rookie that's coming out of the gate. And there's always a ton of risk right there. There's no long-term investing in PSA 10s at that level. So um, he recommended actually looking at PSA 9s. So what I did was is I went on eBay again, and I looked up Kevin Durant PSA 9 tops rookie out of his rookie set two. And right now those cards are actually going for a pretty high premium, about a hundred bucks a card, give or take. However, the thing with Kevin Durant is he's not going to be playing till next season. So maybe that's actually the lowest price that we get those cards at right now is a hundred bucks. Um, the PSA nine rookies I'm I'm talking about. So that might be something uh, worth considering. Or what I could do is I could buy one now, and I could wait till the NBA season is officially canceled, or if it's still end or whenever it ends, and then I could wait till the NBA season dies out and buy the cards from there because that's when the card price is going to be at their lowest. So that's going to be the plan for that right now. Um, I also did the same for Gavin Lux. For the for that same card, the Update Series 1 Rookie, I went online and I tried to see if I could find any PSA 9s or even 10s of that. And it turns out, guys, there's very few out there on the market, that at least that people are giving up, or maybe they're all being sent in for grading. But not very many graded um, PSA Gavin Lux cards exist. So that also might be something um, worth considering is us setting those off for grading. However, the only thing I want to caution with that is... Um, if you're buying cards that have been on the market for a long time and you're looking to buy them on eBay and then grade them off to PSA, if you're buying them from somebody on eBay, I would, I would be cautious because of the fact 
who's not to say that they already tried to send those off for grading themselves and didn't get a 9 or a 10 and they're just selling it off and not telling you. I just don't trust people, so I you never know what could happen. So something worth considering might be if you're if you don't want to take that kind of a gamble maybe just buy the packs and then if you get one of those player cards which i know it's a pretty low likelihood but hear me out if you so like for example if i were to buy a tops update series one pack i pulled that gavin looks rookie out and i sent it off for grading well at least i know that no one else has tried to send that off for grading but then again who's to say that that is more likely to get a graded nine or ten than somebody who I've bought on eBay. So I guess there gets to be a trust dynamic with that. If you buy a hundred different cards from um, somebody on PSA and has send them all for grading, I bet you there's a chance that one of them will grade a 9 or a 10, but like I said, it all depends on your attitude towards risk, so that's just something to kind of keep in mind. But with Gavin Lux, I did find a lot of his PSA cards um, were graded with Bowman Chrome. So like his Bowman Chrome rookies, a lot of them are graded, so there's a really high population of those. However, since there's a higher population of those, they might be worth a little bit less, because the more you have, the less valuable they become. But another thing to consider is uh, the Topps Update Series 1 Gavin Lux rookie uh, short prints. The short prints have him actually, I believe, throwing... He's turning a double play, if I'm not mistaken, in Colorado. Um, he's throwing the ball from second to first. That's a pretty cool looking picture, but that short print variation is a pretty sought after card. Even raw, I believe it was going for $50, $60. And if you buy that card and you send it off for grading, it's a nine or a 10. Well, the value just goes up. And then plus if he plays well, well then obviously all of his cards go up in value, which is why I'm kind of taking the strategy of just buying his base rookies, not grading them, and then hoping he plays well. And then hopefully his card values will go up. So that might be a more budget-friendly way. However, the hybrid between being budget-friendly and being an all-out investor perhaps is to buy those PSA 9s. So that's something I want you guys to consider and think about as you're going through collecting. I'm going to keep hunting for more of those PSA 9s and see what I can find. Some other players I looked up this week, Lonzo Ball was on my radar again. I don't know why. He just kind of clicked into my head, him and Brandon Ingram. Especially if the Pelicans start playing really well between him or between those two and Zion, if they all stick together and they play well. Well, then that could be a powerhouse team for years to come, much like the Atlanta Hawks. I think with Trey Young and John Collins, they're going to, those youngsters are going to get older, they're going to get more experience, and they just keep getting better. Their card value is going to go up, et cetera, and so forth. But um, I guess in terms of, oh, the NFL draft actually happened, or it's still going on. I believe the other rounds are still going on tonight. Rounds one and two happened on the last couple days. But I probably missed the mark for this, but. Maybe something else to consider is buying some uh, NFL-graded cards. Since the NFL season isn't going on, and it's the most likely one to actually ensue uh, coming up for the fall, or at least the end of summer, I should say. So that's something else kind of worth considering as well, is maybe let's look at some NFL cards. From what I've heard, quarterbacks are probably the best bet. I really don't like collecting NFL cards because I just don't like the NFL. It's not something I enjoy watching. So I just kind of keep my eye out for soccer cards, see how those grow, grow and develop, and then I guess we'll see what happens with those. So my mission this week is going to be to look up as many soccer cards as I possibly can, and when it comes to day, when I do this next week, it'll be day 91. I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. So guys, I hope that you learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, or if you just want to do some card talk, drop them down in the comments below. If you'd like to keep up on the journey, um, I'm on TikTok. Oh man, what else am I on? Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all of it. If you guys are curious and you just want to take a look, I'll link them down in the description below. But like I said, all that matters is that you're having fun and you're learning something. So if you're watching, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Have an awesome day, guys. Uh, this has been Bryce at Hippo Nation, and have an awesome day.